In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your front bumper impact absorber on your Subaru Impreza. Go ahead and remove the clips that are attaching the under splash shield to the front bumper. There's usually two here, one up here. We're going to start with these two because it's the first two we have. If your car has fog lights, when you pull this bezel down, go ahead and unplug your fog lights and keep traveling down, finding all of the clips that attach the front bumper to the car. And same on this side. Now would be the time if you had fog lights to unplug them. On the side of your bumper, there's going to be a clip using a clip removal tool. We're just going to go ahead and take that out. Go ahead and lift it off a little bit. And then go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Now on the top side of the bumper, go ahead and remove these six clips. Grab near your fender, pop out the clips around the headlight, and then do the same on the other side. I'm going to use a 12 millimeter socket, and we're going to start by removing the four bolts on each side. two under. And then do the same thing on the other side. You're going to want to keep one bolt just hand tight so it doesn't fall off on you when you take them all out. Now go ahead and Take out the bolts that you had hand loose, lift up a little bit, and remove the impact absorber. It's not a bad idea to put some copper never sees where the bolts are gonna go, just in case you're removing this in the future. We're gonna reinstall the front impact absorber. Line up the holes, put some bolts in hand tight to begin with. Just make sure it stays. I'm gonna put one on the other side as well. Once you have two in to just hold it up, go ahead and start putting in the rest of them. Just start them. We're gonna go ahead and tighten them down after. Go ahead and tighten these down and then we'll torque them after. Do the same thing to the other side. Now we're going to torque those down to 24 foot-pounds.
I'm going to go in a cross pattern both ways. And then just double check them. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just going to check these as well. Now it's time to reinstall your front bumper. Go ahead and line up your clips on the right side. Wrap it around. Tops lined up. Get the clips on the left lined up. And a slight tap and you should hear a click, which means they're in. And good to go. Go ahead and install the six clips on the top of the grill for the bumper. Two big ones on the sides and these four little ones in the middle. Inside the wheel well, go ahead and reinstall this plastic clip and do the same thing on the other side. Now on the bottom side, go ahead and push this plastic piece back up. You want it sitting inside of here, except for when it comes out for the clips. Reinstall any clips that you took out. And in my case, there's only one right here that attaches the bumper to the support. And then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.